Today we're going to be taking a look at the best custom fit vehicle wiring options for your 2015 Nissan Altima. Here on your left we have the Takancha, part number 118470. Here in the center we have the Kurt, part number 56022. And here on your right we're going to have the Hopkins, part number HM1114375. Before we really get into the differences, I want to talk about the converter box. If we get questions, what the converter box is for, what's the purpose of it? The purpose of the converter box is to protect your vehicle wiring from any back feed from your trailer if there's a wiring issue. It's going to send the signal from your car to your trailer. If you notice on the Kurt and the Hopkins, the wires come in both sides, they connect to the circuit board, and then there's a piece of plastic or they're squished between two pieces of plastic. On the Takancha, the wires come in one end, and this whole box is filled with this potting material, which is really going to hold those connections on well, making the Takancha a much more durable product. Another difference I want to go over, and it's a minor difference, but it is a difference, is how our wires are connected up to our plugs. If you notice the Kurt, the connection is here, and it's just got some heat shrink around it. The same goes for the Hopkins. The connection's here, it's got some heat shrink around it. If you notice on the Takancha, it's going to have this solid plastic box where that connection is made. In my opinion, the Takancha is going to be more durable in that aspect. With the Hopkins, all your connections, your butt connectors, your ring terminals are all on the wires when you get them when you get your kit. So you're not going to have to add any of that. With the Kurt and the Takancha, those things have to be put on. So that's one extra step you have to make with the Kurt and the Takancha that you don't have to make with the Hopkins. Now let's go over amps per circuit. The Hopkins doesn't provide us with that information. Kurt is going to have three amps per circuit for your stop and turn signals and six amps per circuit for your tail lights where your Takancha is going to have 2.1 amps for your stop and turn signals and 5.6 amps for your tail lights. Another thing I wanted to add as far as the little kits you get, with the Hopkins you're going to get a little bit of terminal grease, with the Kurt you're going to get some black silicone, Takancha is not going to give you either one of those. So with the Kurt and the Hopkins that's one less thing you would have to purchase. Now let's go over some of the similarities. All three of these wiring harnesses are going to install the same way. They're going to connect directly to factory wiring in your vehicle behind your tail lights. All of them are going to give you power wire to run up to the battery. All of them are going to give you your four pole connection to plug into your trailer and provide the proper lighting function to safely tow a trailer. In summary, as far as ease of installation, I'm going to have to give that to the Hopkins because your butt connectors and ring terminals are already added onto the wires when you receive your kit. As far as durability, I'll have to give that to the Takancha because of the potting material inside of the converter box and the connection point of where the wires are connected running up to the plugs. As far as my personal opinion, I'm going to have to go with the Takancha because of the durability factor alone. I hope I have helped make your decision a little bit easier on choosing the correct wiring that best suits your needs. I encourage you, keep shopping at eTrailer.com and thank you for watching.